Servus guys and welcome to another tutorial concerning the big reactors and today we are going to have a look at the rednet support for the big reactors um, and especially we are going to have a look at how to well start up the uh, the big reactor whenever you are in need of energy and when you don't uh, if you don't need any energy the reactor has to shut down or uh, let's say be at a low level or run at a low level so that you don't well waste too much uranium or eulorium or whatever you are going to put in and uh, well the setting of the big reactor is very like a normal big reactor left side uranium the right side we're going to uh, get our waste out we got some uh, energy cell for some examples that i'm going to show you and uh, well, how to be build a big reactor, there's all, uh, also a tutorial on this channel. You might wanna check it out. I might link it in the info box if I don't forget. And uh, well, now concerning the RedNet things, we need a RedNet reactor port, RedNet cable and a programmable RedNet controller. And as you can see at the moment, there is no real um, energy consumption somewhere in the system so the reactor is uh, the reactor is online but is not using any eulorium or just a very very tiny bit of eulorium and now i'm getting in uh, putting in an, another energy cell which is filling up with energy so the buffer gets emptied and uh, then the reactor is uh, heating up and is using a lot more eulorium or uranium in this in this case to well get the power that is um, asked for. So this is, yeah, all about the RedNet controller. If I'm, yeah, just shutting down the uh, power consumption, you will see that the, uh, well, energy buffer gets high up and the reactor is heating up again. So we need a reactor RedNet port, just put it into your reactor casing as any other block, it's very easy. The rednet cable, do not use the energy cables, the normal rednet cable from Mine Factory Reloaded and the programmable uh, rednet controller is everything we need, which is quite cheap. And uh, well, this is the final setting um, with the controller, but we have to start with the rednet port. And there you see you have a lot of colors. The colors are there for, let's say, channels or um, possibilities to save information. And you got some informations there that you can use like input change control what in search you well this means how much eulorium is getting into the uh, fuel rod or is taken into into the heating and um, also we got the output the uh, output energy amount and these two things we are going to need because on the one side we say okay tell me how many output energy there is and on the other side, put this in the same ratio that we need to fulfill this energy consumption, uh, which is orange. Um, so on this side, we we tell the uh, reactor how much eulorium you have to use um, to to um, yeah fulfill the the needed energy uh, amount. And um, yeah, well, connect it to your. Uh, RedNet controller and remember which side you connect the cable, which is very important. You get a lot of different um, yeah, things you can activate there. What we need is um, pass through, which means that we have one input, uh, input information, which goes directly to an output information or an output action. Um, so we need now uh, how much energy is in there and uh, get it to uh, insertion of um, fuel. So um, we need IOR, R stands for right. So our cable, uh, cable, our cable <laughs> is German. Our cable is connected to the right side of the programmable um, RedNet controller. And uh, the white one is the input. It says how much energy we are using or are we outputting from the generator so this is the input on the left side and we pass it through to the output also on the right side because it's getting back into the um, into the reactor again under uh, with the orange line which tells the reactor okay we need this kind of energy and uh, calculate 
let's say let's calculate um, how much ilorium or uranium or whatever you are going to need to fulfill this need and this is all about so we connect these two informations and the rednet controller does the rest and director is responding to well the kind of energy that you need or the amount of energy that you need so if you understand this this is quite simple to build but figuring out is uh, well that's the, that's the main problem but uh, that's uh, yeah the, i did it for you <laughs> with this tutorial and uh, now in the background i'm showing just some examples now everything is full and uh, now we get some energy cell um, onto the system which is loading up with um, i think 30 32000 um, rf per tick and maximum and uh, well i, I think i, I che i'm checking something here everything is okay yeah yeah well i do this um, normally i'm doing the, the tutorials in german and uh, retranslating it in, in english so uh, sometimes i forget a bit what i did <laughs> so uh, but this time um now we are going for it um the rector is heating up now because there's an energy cell there and uh, which consumes a lot of energy so the, the reactor is heating up again and uh, well yeah pass through white right on right orange and put in the correct information and it should be working fine so i th i hope this tutorial was helpful for you and um yeah, as I as I told you before, um, if you want to see how to build up an energy, a big reactor, a passive cool uh, energy, uh, big reactor, uh, just check out the links below. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have fun rebuilding it. And yeah, see you next time. Servus, guys.